I next played with my poop. The moment. And do you enjoy watching her get fucked? Yeah. So people always get really confused about how he can actually sue me because of OnlyFans. All right, in five, four, three, two, one. Zero, minus one, minus two, minus three. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Outspoken. Today, I am joined by two of my favorite people in the world and Lachlan. We have Jeremy and we have Isabel, <laughs> two of the most beautiful people that I am glad enough to have ever met. So, welcome, Jeremy oh, and Isabel. That's Thank very you. nice. Oh. That's a great introduction. Thank you. Today, we will be going through a whole bunch of things. Isabel's father taking her to court because she started an OnlyFans account. You heard that right. We'll be talking about their relationship, what they do for work, how we all met each other, what brought them to the Gold Coast. We have a lot to talk about, a few fun games, a few fun topics. So let's just dive straight into it and start this off with a bang. So Isabel, get your clothes off and... Demonetization. Correct. We will not get clothes off. And I'm not like that. She passed right? a test. <laughs> I turned over Leaf News. So <laughs> this is, yeah, I don't want to see naked. Please. I do. You want to? It's good for business. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's what Lockie said. Yep. <laughs> All right. So I guess we're just going to get started, guys. A lot of my friends and people that have followed me might already know Jeremy and Isabel. They're two of my good friends. They're a married couple here on the Gold Coast. And I'm just going to let them talk and get this thing started. Let's say a little bit about yourselves, guys. What brought you up to... The Gold Coast, how do we all know each other? And who the fuck are you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, I'm excited. Do you want to start this, Dal? I wear the pants, so maybe I should. Who no, wears you can the pants? Go. Okay. And I'll fill I'll go. the blanks. So we <laughs> were coming up to the Gold Coast a lot um, since we, we've known each other for about seven years and we were coming up all the time. Seven and a half. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get married. Feisty guys. one, you are. <laughs> Blank fill. <film. laughs> and. Um, I was begging her. We'd come up like sometimes 20 times a year. I did have a holiday house here, which is... 20 yeah. times a year. That's almost once... We were coming up twice weeks. a month. We were coming up twice a month. Whoa. Oh, yeah. wow. We just loved it. And then COVID hit and I was like, Dar, let's move up to Queensland. Like, this is this is shit. Because it kind of looked like up in Queensland, it was... Nothing was kind of... Everything was still happening. So yeah. I asked her and she goes, let's go. I was like, okay. No, we weren't tied down to anything anymore. What were yeah. you doing up here? Like, so when, if you knew no one. So when we, it? yeah. So when we moved here, we literally knew no one. Um, so I was looking at. I'd actually bought a territory to start a gym um, in Melbourne, and then COVID hit, and I just I moved it up here to Southport, um, and that was kind of my my priority. And Isabel was kind of dabbling in OnlyFans in Melbourne and also um, camming, which yeah. I'll let you, you can speak Primarily about that. I was doing camming. Um, so she moved up here and was still kind of doing that. And my focus was on a gym. And then obviously you can probably speak about how, what you were doing and then how I transitioned into it. She kind of yeah. sat me down and gave me the hard word. And she's like, you need <laughs> to either do this or you don't. Yeah, right. So you guys basically moved to the Gold Coast at the beginning of COVID? Yeah, so, yeah. So just mid before yeah. June 2020. So yeah, it was, was kind of right in the middle. Oh, right. Okay. So, so it already well and truly had started. Yeah. yeah okay. But it was hardcore. Melbourne yeah. was, well, Melbourne was hardcore compared to here, but we missed the like super hardcore part of Melbourne where it was yeah. like you can't go shopping with your yeah. partner and stuff. And we, didn't we were even just, have to wear we just saw that. A bit that more was, lively and stuff to do down there, I guess, probably. Sorry. Um, there's a bit more to do down in Melbourne, maybe. I think it depends on what you're like. Like yeah. up here, it's a very much a, a fun lifestyle and mm. it, like you can be outside. More like, temptation. Melbourne, it's like, <laughs> Yeah, oh, definitely. More Melbourne is like dining out in restaurants yeah. and it's like once COVID hit, it was like, what do you do then? Yeah. You're not even allowed outside to go well, and play. Well, they were the most it. locked down city in the world at one stage. Mm. Right. They broke the record. Yeah. Who did? Melbourne for the yeah. longest lockdown yeah. ever in yeah. the world. Really? Yeah, they did. Yeah. It's yeah, amazing. Man. Shout out to the Melbourne government. Let's go Melbourne. Doing a great job. Woo! <laughs> 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 breaking records out here. So you guys have almost been here for two full years. Or been, it has just been just over, years. yeah. Just over now. <clears throat> Lovely. Mm. And I've known you nearly the whole time. Oh, maybe yeah, so we six met. months, six months after. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, Lovely. I think it was around yeah, December or something. And how did we all meet? Oh. Would you guys like to say? Oh. We just yeah, met you and can I take just it. fucked you. <laughs> That's a song. I know. It's an Eminem song. I actually, you just met and I just fucked true. you. I have <laughs> slept. They're married. I've slept with her. Jeremy For was For money. There. It's okay. We're prostitutes. I actually- <laughs> We're prostitutes. I can't find them right now. I reckon you hid what? them, but I found, I found underwear- that aren't mine. Oh, no, I don't know where they are. I ate them. But they're in your bedroom. And I reckon I've seen you wear them before. But we, haven't, brand. Co we haven't collabed for a while. Bonds, brand. Bonds and they're grey. They're like... Could be mine. Skitties. Was there, was there skitties? <laughs> well, I washed them because I... 
You didn't check I'm for skid? I'm a good guy. You didn't check for skid? No. No skid. Not yours. Did well, you not mine. <laughs> <laughs> I sniffed them, but I didn't check them for skiddies. If they're grey bonds, then they're probably mine because I wear bonds and Calvins and. They're in her room. <gasps> This is where we should press the suspense button, Alex. Yeah, press just press, press the suspense it. button. Sorry, guys. This is Alex's first day on the job. <laughs> he will. She just dropped a suspense line. I wish she just pressed. I wish she pressed a completely wrong button, just like some fucking retarded thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hit one that goes for like two minutes. That's all right. We just 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 hit one. This is this is early days of the hit podcast. This is trial and error. So we're going to go hit back a few seconds. This is play the suspense oh. music. Oh, no, the I can't hear one. it. Nothing and happened. cue the suspense music. That's not the pink one. I can't hear it. And cue the suspense music. I can't hear it. And cue the suspense music. Can't hear it. Oh yeah, this is volume toggles. Oh. <laughs> and cue the suspense music. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not the right music. <laughs> yeah, that's not suspenseful. I liked it. I liked it. Very I feel suspenseful. Like we need so we're gonna say it once more. <laughs> Jeremy's gonna say it once more. We're gonna pretend the last minute hasn't happened. All right. So what happened? You found my underwear in her room. You yeah. seem to know. Cue that. the suspense music. That's close. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> it's all right though. It's early days of the podcast. We're just trial and error at the moment. We're just going to keep getting better and better. So we'll add some suspense music. We will add some suspense music. I like and I can't explain how my underwear is there. Maybe it was after a day that I was. I was planning on selling it. You could. Less mm. words in this situation is better. <laughs> 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 it's okay. It's okay. So how did you meet through true? No, you. No, reached, how did Isabel? Yeah. I think you reached out to. I, well, you put a story up saying you were looking for people to shoot with for OnlyFans, and I replied. But you had already been speaking to Jeremy in the DM. Yeah, because I was like flicking on. I'm like, bang my wife. And then, and then I, think, I think you talked to Troy, and you're like, "Are these two like okay? Le like, legit. are they like?" Are they not psycho? Well, I think I saw first you guys might have worked with Luke. Yeah. Yep. And then I saw you guys hang out with Troy doing like skids or something like that in a yep. car. And then after that, I had a story up and I saw you replied and said your wife is down to do content. <laughs> and I was like, thanks, honey. It's not the most normal message that I've gotten in a while, but nonetheless, <laughs> here we are. This We're was all best after of she sat me down and like gave me the pep talk and she's like, you either need to be in. And I'm like, fine, I'm yeah. in. Like, I was like, like no, doing OnlyFans with her. Oh, there's no, in, there's no really in between. Commit. Yeah, There's no in between. It's like, if you're going to do OnlyFans, it's like you go yep. hard or you don't mm -hmm. do it. And that so was it was kind thing. of, you can say, because I was doing, like my focus was on the fitness stuff and starting the franchise. Yeah. I was pouring money into like getting legals done for the, <coughs> for the franchise. And then I was watching what she was doing and she'd actually gone, I was PTing a client. She goes, okay, I'm going off. And she went off to collab with Luke and um, his partner at the time. And I was like working with the client and I was like, she's going to make some good money out of this. I can see this. And then it started coming in straight away. And I was like, in my head, I was kind of like, I got to do this. But then like all the things of like the medical clinic that I worked with, my family and all the things that would be effect, potentially affected were coming in. But then I was seeing the dollar figure and I was like, oh, maybe there's something in this. So she It's a big decision. Massive, Massive decision. decision. Well, it's that's what everyone, life. people underestimate that there is a lot of sacrifices you have to make when you do it. Because once yeah. you do that, there's no going back. That's on the internet. Yeah. Forever. Yep. Just ask Lockie. Me and him have done term. collabs for OnlyFans and we both know it's there. There's forever. a video of me <laughs> using Jackson's dick as a gear stick. Like gets around <laughs> <Yeah>. a lot. <laughs> but he wasn't jerking me. It was a simple like use it as a gear for about yeah, three there, seconds. There was no up and down. But I was, was, I was putting it in reverse. Yeah, cards you put it in reverse where you grab it up like that. Bro, that's, that that's my favorite way to... Oh. That's fine. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. But I heard anything under eight seconds of another guy grabbing your penis isn't actually classed as gay or bisexual. Not that we have a problem with this. We support no. it all. <laughs> I love gay people. I love trans people. I love lesbian people. Everyone's beautiful. I just want to reinforce that. <laughs> all right? We love everyone. Do you want to collab? Yeah, all right. We can collab you and me. Good. Great. But yeah, it is a big decision to make going back to the OnlyFans stuff. Mm. So like a lot of things have happened with you guys since the OnlyFans journey, not just the positives, you know, people make a lot of money and you can, mm. it really can set you up nicely, you know, and a lot yep. of freedom to work on other things you're passionate yeah. about. But obviously a lot of issues come like, you know, a lot of people will look at you different. You could ruin other opportunities, family problems as Isabel and you guys have both been going through with Isabel's father for probably like a year now, right? Two. Something like Two, that. Two, yeah. Coming up. Uh, oh no, so. A year and a half. Yeah. 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 So what basically is happening there with that situation? Do you want to- Don't have to talk too much, just whatever you're comfortable to talk um, about. So people always get really confused about how he can actually sue me because of OnlyFans. Essentially, it's not about OnlyFans. Um, 
I come from a family that's quite comfortable. Mm. So he bought my sister a property and he bought me a property. Basically, he's trying to take the property off me, saying that it wasn't a gift. Okay. So, yeah, that's the basics. So and what, before you did OnlyFans, there was never an mm-hmm. issue. He never no, had anything. No, we had him <coughs> at our house like three, four nights a week. Oh, whoa. Like, I was we PTing him. We were bike riding, swimming, like all the mm. things that I enjoy we were doing together. So we were like, and, I was kind of his yeah. best mate. And I was doing OnlyFans for a year before he found out. Like I'm the mm. same so person you never, I was when he didn't yeah. know. Yeah, so you never actually really sat with him and said, hey, look, like you didn't, obviously it's a weird conversation to have yeah. with your dad, but I mean like, I, for example, when I started, I actually told like my mom like about what I was doing and stuff like that and had a brief conversation. Said, Look, I'm doing this. In the beginning, there was no plans to do like really intense extreme content that we ended up doing. I told her it's a bit of fun, a bit of nudity, some funny stuff, just harmless, you know, and then we got pretty carried away and had a bit of fun for six to 12 months, <laughs> as you do. Um, but yeah, like, so you never actually sat down with- Did you plan family. on him finding out? Like, did you, was that was that a thought in your head? I, How would he react if he found out? Yeah, mm. I I thought right. it was definitely mm. a possibility, especially when we started to promote it more. Yeah, um, my mom knew for ages, but yeah, I didn't think his. Oh, so your mom, your mum knew? Yeah. Okay. She, she called me cool. and she's like, "Are you an adult entertainer?" And how, how was she? <laughs> Maybe. She, your mum and you dad entertained. Your mum and, <laughs> your mom and dad not together. Uh, they're like basically separated. She lives in Melbourne. He lives okay. up here. But yeah. Mm. Same as me. <laughs> um, yeah, so your mum knew about it and yeah. she was okay. Like, yeah, she was mm. okay. Yeah, see, that's that's all. She's like, as long as you're safe and you're happy, whatever. Yeah, but so your found dad out. obviously found out and he wasn't happy. So he's like, all right, everything I've ever given you, like, he doesn't want you to What was the first conversation? Didn't like? even get there a phone call. Email and text message there was saying. An email and text message yeah. saying, give me all this shit back. Don't use my surname. Like, don't Whoa. ever speak to me again. Mm. And then I ignored it. I, like I wanted him to cool down and then maybe we could have a conversation about it. As yeah. normal adults would. And then he just sent me a letter from his lawyers. That's crazy. Mm. And so just- you're getting letters from lawyers, kind of threats almost like legal mm-hmm. action, take this, take that, simply because you've taken a career switch. Yep. Yeah. Did it make you want to not do OnlyFans or did it affect like your vision of it? <coughs> no, I was like, fuck it. If I'm getting sued, I'm going to smash mm. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, made us want to well. go bigger. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's, that's like, what he probably didn't realize, right? Is that like, if he's going to come in here and try to make your life harder or take things that you've yeah. been given, that's got to motivate you to make more money now, you know, because, mm-hmm. you know, if you're going to lose something, then why not work harder yep. and, and do it for yourself? You know, yep. it's like, it is unfortunate. Like that does suck. It sounds like a really awful situation, but you guys have handled it like chance. Yeah. Like as, as long as I've known you guys, you've obviously there's been many days, many emotional days and stuff <laughs> as it would be. And it's probably stressful as hell. I could only imagine. But for the most part, you have handled it like proper, like champion. Yeah, so thank, thank you. you. I think it's just like if we got a, if we had an opportunity to talk with him, it, mm-hmm. we, it may have been different. Like we may have listened to his opinion. Yeah, we never even got that chance yeah. to consider his feelings, um, which we did in the background. Or <coughs> I definitely speaking for myself, I did, but we never got that opportunity. Yeah. So it was just like once we did, didn't get the opportunity. I was like, fuck it, let's just absolutely go crazy with this. It's a shame you didn't get the opportunity to kind of even just have a sit down with him or some yeah. dinner or a coffee and just be like, look. Yep. Because like he could have come to you like in so many different ways. There's so many different ways you could have gone about that and said, yep. look, I'm not happy about what you're doing. Can we have a conversation? Is there something we can talk it out as family or someone like you care about? You should, you know what yep. I mean? That's, just not, that's not to say he doesn't care. I think maybe he does care and that's probably why he has such a crazy reaction. Yeah, yeah. oh, of course. <clears throat> but yeah, that's that's a pretty intense situation, isn't it? Yeah, oh, <laughs> it is. Lockie's uh, yeah. mother sued him when he was 15 years old. Really? No. <laughs> 15 so, years old. so where's it all at at the moment so where are you at um, now like? we've got mediation in october and okay. then so if that, we don't come months? to an agreement which we probably won't <laughs> uh we've got a trial set for february jesus so eh? that'll be two years in february That's heavy mm. wow. yeah and it's it's the trial is scary because it's not just it's not just Isabel's father, we're going up, we're yeah, going up against I'm suing, the bank. I'm suing ANZ and oh, wow. they're expecting the trial will go for Whoa. seven to 10 days. You're suing, Holy a, you're suing a bank. Yeah. Yep. Whoa. And the scary thing is it's like, you could probably say that it, it, it's gonna like, it's gonna take many hundreds of thousands of dollars. And it's mm-hmm. like, we've made this decision to go into this, into this career or take this career path, which yeah. obviously has yeah. other consequences and sacrifices. But now it's like, also, you might have to fork out $500 million. Who knows? Like these legal things can become super 
Well, that's, super that's, that's a big thing with OnlyFans, right? People kind of look past like the little things that are going on in the background, yeah. how, how big of like, consequences can happen from mm-hmm. doing oh, things like yeah. this because people just look at it like, oh, it's just a quick hit of money. They've yep. never worked mm. a day in their lives. They got lucky. They're just doing porn because they're desperate. They're doing this. And yep. people don't realize there's a lot to lose when you so do it many, as well. So many sacrifices. There's so many. Like for me, like a lot of things haven't wanted to work with me since then and stuff. Even though I didn't necessarily do a very long stint. Yep. I went like six to 12 months realistically is when I went crazy with it. The last 12 to 18 months, I barely made a thing for it. I've been pretty much off it. We haven't promoted it since I lost my Instagram account. And that's like not to say I have a problem with OnlyFans. I just was like, I did it short term, middle of COVID, yep. took advantage of the situation and was like, fuck it. I saw an opening there. I was over social media and I just wanted to get in, make it worth it, make some money. And I was like, I don't really care about the consequences. I knew mm. in my head, I'm like, I could lose some social media things here. I could lose some friends. I could have everyone look at me and view me differently. Luckily enough, I wasn't, I didn't have to go through many family dramas and stuff, which obviously sucks. But, you know, everyone that does it, does have things they have to lose to mm. give up in order to make that money. And it's like, people just think, oh, it's an overnight success. Yeah. And it's like, oh, you mm. don't have to do anything. Anybody can do that, but. Yeah. No, no, there's long-term repercussions. Mm. Oh, definitely long. Like your guys, like life and relationship with your dad now will never be the same. Like yep. that's, it's a life changing moment. Like, what does your mum think of your dad doing this? <laughs> uh, she won't talk to me about it oh, because right. she feels like her family's been ripped apart. Doesn't want to like get involved. Doesn't want to get involved. Yeah. I, I kind of, I yeah, can respect that. that. I can respect that. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I, I don't, that. I don't think she needs to. I think that's good because it would be so much worse having them, <laughs> everyone not talking and no one, like yeah. at least you can still, you guys are on good terms with your mum. I'm assuming. Like, uh, yeah. I mean, it just, I don't know. It feels a bit awkward. Yeah. Um, Definitely. She doesn't contact me anymore, no. but I think that's probably the best way for it to be at the moment. But yeah. So you don't, you guys don't talk. Oh, uh, occasionally. <laughs> You've done it before. <laughs> it was a nose kiss. Did it end up happening? No, nah, she didn't kiss, kiss me. Oh, Eskimo. I thought it was with the eyelash. Oh no, yeah, that is. <laughs> she didn't kiss me. Imagine being her husband. <laughs> I get teased every day, and then I have oh, to you've watch, lost your chance. Then to, I have you, to watch you. Bang you've her. lost your chance to kiss these <laughs> suckily <laughs> dry lips. <laughs> I'll I'll I got a question. So I think a big thing that also with OnlyFans is that <coughs> like for you detracts from like, let's say the recent article, mm. OnlyFans millionaire is yeah. successful. Yeah. But yeah. they forgot like the 10 years prior, like you don't just go out <coughs> and kill it on OnlyFans because you're a nobody. Like you've got to go and mm. do the work or you've got to have done a lot of work to like Definitely. get out there and create a name. And I think that's... A lot of a lot of people also get confused with that. They're like, they think they can just sign up, create an account, post a post a success. nude, post a sex tape, and the, but it's like, where do I get the crowd from? Like, what have yeah. I done prior? You can't just start an account and have no like online presence or yeah. not. Like, you could, you can definitely do it. A lot of people do still do it, and they they make money just off the few people that they know who like in their town or something, mm. and they do well. But as you said, it's like. I did like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, social media mm. stuff for six or seven years before I even knew what OnlyFans yeah. was. Yeah. And now after doing OnlyFans for like a year or so, and then I've gone back to just doing like videos again and making fun things and excuse me. For- <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, and you know, I've gone back to making more social media stuff, starting this podcast, doing other things and wanting to do new things now. Cause like it's definitely made good money. It's opened up mm. a lot of freedom in my life to work on things that I'm more passionate about. But like you said, it's like, I did all this social media stuff for six or seven years, put so much mm. work in, sacrificed a lot. And now like anytime any news articles come out or anyone that talks mm. or meetings, it's like only fans millionaire. It's not like social media person or even just say my name. It's, it's they always link only fans in it because it's a bit edgy yep. and it makes more clicky, you know, and I understand that. But yep. exactly I think people right. can't be blinded by that. It's like, so we get so many messages and you, people think that they can come in and literally be a millionaire on this with no yeah. business experience or no prior work. And it's just, it's just not like that. It's people a People don't understand. There's like a formula to OnlyFans. There's yeah. a way you can, like yep. the way, how you start OnlyFans and how you like progress in it, like yep. like little bits by bits. People don't understand. Yep. They just, they start it. They just go crazy yep. when, like with a sex tape where they could be like selling like tits and stuff for like a month, get heaps yep. of money. Those same people will pay again to see your vagina. Then they'll pay again to see them both together. Yep. Like it's crazy how- You guys are getting yep. free advice here. Take people it. People don't understand. Take it, take it if you will from the he OnlyFans knows. expert. He's got one of <laughs> he the biggest know. pages in- well, not even in Australia, in, in the world, in Ethiopia, in the yeah. universe. Yep. <laughs> in the world. Yeah, pretty impressive. Speaking on OnlyFans, like advice, <laughs> tips, all these things. Is there anything you would like to share? Like, not even just <clears throat> the tips on how to make more money or what to do, but how to carry yourself, how to mentally deal with like situations, because your guys' situation is pretty extreme. Like, yep. 
it's not saying that other people's problems and they've gone through doesn't matter, but it's like your situation in itself is very extreme. We both have different consequences we've all faced from doing OnlyFans, but that's yep. a very extreme yeah. situation. Your situation has so. got, I guess, like what people fear coming mm. in OnlyFans. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's like yeah. the benchmark. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. when someone says that they're scared of what people will think or like their family yeah. or these things, this is like the definition of that. <laughs> Yeah. So, I mean, if you had any words yeah. to share with anyone I'll out there that might be thinking I'll of starting it or that wants to do it or any advice, anything um, that you guys can share. I'll lead with one because I think it's it's one that you have to consider. If you want to do extremely well on OnlyFans, ex and when I say extremely well, especially if you come like from us, we didn't have a presence at all on social media. We hadn't worked in it. I'd run a fitness mm, business. A you had a small one. one <coughs> but it was just stuff. like, my fan. if I want to make bank on this, my family have to know because mm. the more people in the world that know yeah. have to. So yeah. you've got to make that decision whether you want to be anonymous or small and maybe your family don't find out or you want to make a lot. And I was like, if my if my noodle's gonna be on the internet, I want millions of <laughs> see, dollars. See, I had for no this. I had no option. Like obviously all my family follow me. They all see my stuff. Like yeah. I had no way around it. The moment yeah. I started it, I was like, it's go hard or go home. I'm not just gonna, you know, dawdle around and be like, hey guys, come and look at me, my girlfriend being naked or something. I yeah. wanted it to be like all right, how can I market this to go viral from the beginning? Mm. Really, really suck some views and just milk it for what it is. Yep. If I'm taking this risk and gonna jeopardize other things, I'm making sure it's worth it. There you go. And it did cause yep. a lot of problems and a lot of mental problems, a lot of life problems, relationship problems. I feel like it was a big contributing factor to Maddie and I's relationship and a lot of the problems we faced, you know? Yep. Like it does have its negative sides that come with it. People don't necessarily think about it. They just think, oh, people are just having sex and they're making money, that's it. No, there's yep. so much more. You can burn yourself out and not enjoy sex and stuff like that. You can yep. lose family relationships, lose partnerships and have the whole public view you differently. And now it's getting so much more normalized, I feel. So it's like, it's a little bit yeah. better now than what it was a year or two ago. Definitely. But those problems and things are still there and there's still that stigma around it and stuff. Yep. So It's still very taboo. Yeah. I reckon, so I'd give like, my first one would be pros and cons. Do your pros and cons <coughs> straight away yeah, before you, so you know what you're kind of in for. Um, and the second one would be like, and it's just probably because it's a massive question that constantly comes up. Like so many people say like, what's the best way to do it? And it's like, everyone has a different niche. Like we're husband and wife, mm. figure out what like just, just yeah, yeah, figure out what your niche is and then just try things, just yeah, keep changing things up. Yeah. Um, and in saying that as well, it's like, just because you know you guys or myself or anyone else that does OnlyFans has done extreme stuff, it doesn't mean that everyone has to do that. Hell no. Like people yeah. think that you have to be like doing pornography and you have to go crazy extreme with the content. No, you can be smart with the marketing and who you collaborate with, how you promote yourself, the content you make. Like yep. I know girls who don't even show any like full blown nudity, just lingerie stuff and they're making an easy yep. 10, 20 grand a month from doing yeah, that. We know yep. one girl that doesn't even show nipples. <coughs> and I think her best month, uh, her best week ever was 120k US. Oh my yeah. god! Like nearly 200 grand. And she's yeah. never show, her Instagram Doesn't is more hardcore nipple. than her OnlyFans, in my oh opinion. My god. Yeah. 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 So it's like you really don't, and that kind of, yeah. as you said, like it's just just build and see where you need to get to yeah. for like what you want to earn and yeah. get out from it. That is an extreme case. That's yeah. not gonna happen to everyone. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. No, I like it. What are yours? I think if you do make the commitment to going like all in with your OnlyFans and like you want people to find out and your family is going to find out. You need to treat it like a business. Yeah. Yeah. Because a lot of people come in, they're like, oh, this is fun. I'm going to make money, but they don't actually do the work mm. and build the structures behind it to make it a long-term business. And I also think that's great how you said the pros and cons because pros and cons is like definitely help. And it's, it's better when you write them out, you know, oh, like yeah. write down like, yeah. okay, what can I gain from this? Yeah, sure, yeah. money, sure, other things, but what's it gonna be able to open up for me outside of just making money? Yeah. What else can it do for me? Weigh up it with the cons and be like, okay, my family might think this. Yeah. Maybe I should talk to them before I even do it, you know? Yeah. Or maybe, maybe I'll not be able to get a different job one day or maybe it'll get leaked or maybe someone will send it to my ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, such and such. See, I had all those things floating in my head and then when she sat me down and said like, we can we can do something with this. That's when I had to put them down, and it was like the first <coughs> things was family, um, current career opportunities, mm -hmm. and then future like career opportunities. And you have to put it on paper because until it's there, you actually the, the lines are blurred, and you're just yeah. thinking dollars. Because I saw the dollars, but I was like, wait, am I am I willing to potentially jeopardize all these other super important yeah. things and opportunities? That's yeah, yeah. very good advice. After I your like first that. tape, how were you like, this is for me? Or were you like, oh, <laughs> I didn't like that? Well, we actually, 
our mate, we were actually. <laughs> Are you talking about like how it's fucked idea? Yeah. Right, so, so we were, <laughs> we were. I had one of my long term mates around, and we'd we we just. We were initiating a threesome. Yeah. <laughs> and he was and like, oh my God, this is amazing. This is like watching live porn. And I was like, ding. Mm. Is this yeah. here on the Gold Coast? Yeah. The no, first it threesome? Was, oh, no, no, it wasn't. It was, it was in Melbourne. Yeah. 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 So that was the second <coughs> threesome, actually. She'd never had one. The first one was a German exchange student. And then <laughs> <laughs> that is the most <laughs> random I thing. A I met German him. exchange student. Legit. Met him yeah. at the gym. He was just a gym bro. Got along well. And we came up. How many inches are we talking? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh. Like a bratwurst? <laughs> a bratwurst <laughs> suitable for a German <laughs> unlike me like I'm a cashew <laughs> and I also think one thing that a lot of people don't think about is they make this quick hit of money when they start and they're not used to making fast easy quick yeah. cash like that and they just go fuck it I'm going to go down to Gucci and Prada and this place I'm going to go to Mexico and yep. I've been guilty of all of these guilty. things <laughs> like I've gone and spent serious money but I think people don't realise if you're smart with it, you won't need to go and apply for other jobs one day. You won't need nah. to just nah. utilize the money you make, yep. set it up, probably have companies, write things off that you can write off, put money into the right places, invest in things, start real life businesses outside of it. Yep. Just because as everyone says, you're not going to be hot forever. Mm. It's like, like when you start it, you're going to get a lot of traction from the beginning. And I think the first three to six months is where people make a lot of their money. Yep. Then it's about like just trying to like sustain that to make it long term, which yeah. is where people struggle because they spend they make a hundred grand a month and they're like, oh fuck, this is nice. I'm gonna make this hundred grand a month for the next ten years now. Mm -hmm. But no, it might only be a year or two, it might be six months. And yep. <clears throat> I've seen people go from making two hundred grand a month to thirty grand a month to fifteen grand a month. You know, like yep. me and Maddie's biggest month was like do you remember? Like four six It was like four hundred and forty or four hundred and sixty yeah, thousand like USD. Me and Maddie's biggest month, and that was like the third or fourth month in. Yep. And now it's like Drop down, you know, we've had months with a 50,000 or I can't remember what the lowest month is. And I don't want to say it's like not much because it's still a lot of money. Yep. The lowest months are still a lot of money. Yep. And I'm still very grateful for this money. And, you know, we put the work and we took the risks. And I'm using that money smarter and putting it into properties and mm -hmm. stuff because I know, I knew what the risks were. I knew like this money won't last forever. Mm -hmm. But if I'm smart, I can sustain it to maybe make a really good amount forever, you know? Is and this your top tip? Is this a tip? Uh, this is your is this this advice? Is a good, uh, I reckon this is a good tip. There you have it, guys. There's, I some, reckon there's some advice. That is a phenomenal one because it's so true. Oh. Look at the you shake can, on his you head. You can even get your whole mouth around that. I just did. No, like around, like, like <laughs> down. Have you done a video like that? I'll see if Isabel can do it, then I'll try it. Go. Is it, is I'm going to get lip gloss. That's right. Oh, mate. Would you say <laughs> I don't want to hear the excuses. Big black shalami in front of you. Oh. Oh. It's quite large. You didn't fully commit. Yeah, you got I know. to commit. I, felt I, I didn't want to. We've been talking about commitment today and you're not even. I guess this video will be on uh, YouTube. So we probably have to keep this kind of <coughs> family friendly a little yes. bit. All righty. So basically there's a lot of advice and tips out there for everyone who ever wants to take them, use them or ignore us. Tell us to fuck off if you want. You can actually do that. You can write in the comments and yeah. And I also think there's one cool thing that I wanted to ask you guys about. Obviously you guys have done a lot of threesomes, foursomes, What's the craziest thing you've probably done on OnlyFans so far? Ooh. No judgment. This is a judge-free zone. Craziest thing. The craziest. What would be like the wildest? Like most people included. What positions? Oh, okay. I want to hear I some juicy details. Good. Um. That's, that's what we want to hear. <laughs> I was going to say five some, but then I thought. Oh, which holes were used? How many penises? How many vaginas? How many bum holes? Oh, actually. What was <laughs> licked? I want to hear juicy what? details. And I think the viewers <laughs> might want to hear some of the details. Yeah. I reckon. Actually, now I say five sims. I guess hardcore, but I just I, that just feels normal. <laughs> which, is, which is another. Whoa. Which is another. Now, whole when, you, when, you say five, when you say five sim, are you saying three girls, two guys, one guy, four girls, four guys, one girl? I think we did three girls, two guys, and we've done three and we've guys, done two three guys, guys, two girls. Yeah. And oh. you've also done two penises in your vagina at the same <gasps> oh, time. Yeah. Have you double yes. vagina pen is probably you had a double penny in the one and two dicks in the mouth. Yeah, I, 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 in the I, mouth. I established this technique and you like cross <laughs> over and they go into each cheek and it's like- That would rip my mouth apart. Works yeah, my mouth's pretty weak. <laughs> that oh, he's got a pretty small mouth. Whoa, look how oh, small his wow. mouth is. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> I have a big mouth. Do it again. Can you put your fist Just in your mouth? Show the camera your mouth. <laughs> 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 he's got a tiny mouth. <laughs> no, he's sucking your dick. Mine's like medium. Ow. Your mouth's not very big either. How do no, you get two not. cocks? How the Bro. fuck did you fit? I'm telling you, the technique works. Should we try it? 
On she, me. One of them was mine. <laughs> these two boys, on me. <laughs> Show me your mouth. Huh? Show me. Yeah, that fucking makes my dick look really small right now if there was two in there. Now, how do you, <laughs> as, a, as a man, because a lot of guys out there don't like their partner sleeping with someone else. Mm. And obviously in your collabs and other work yeah. and stuff, Isabel's slept with like a few other guys and stuff like that. You've yep. slept with other girls. How do you guys overcome that barrier of like, okay, my partner's going to get fucked in front of me? Um, communication. In, in terms of the business, it's just business. Yeah, it's just sex. Yeah, that's There's a good. No that's emotion. a good thing. That's a good thing to break up the the difference of you know if it's business or if it's pleasure because yep. there is a fine difference between like we're yep. doing this purely work basis. This is to make some money together. Yep. Obviously, you want to have fun and connect with the people you're working with. You don't mm. want to just do it for the sake of it. Of like, course. Absolutely. And then there is a difference whether you're partying or you're genuinely. Yep sexually interested in another person you just want to have a good fun threesome no content no yep. cameras and i think that they're a lot more fun yep but yeah so how I do think, you guys deal with that so communication obviously but mm -hmm. everything you always use this word like everything what am i going to say everything is consensual there you go bang bang so we always discuss a lot as yep. soon as I, I knew as soon as i said everything is i knew she'd know yep. the word so we just discuss everything yep. like it just you have to um and we just like we've always set like a boundary, like what's our ba boundary where we go to? Cause the first time we did it was actually prior to content, yep. the German exchange. Just and we just didn't set a boundary. Or I'd, yeah, true. And I, I'd done it before with mates and she hadn't, and we just didn't set a boundary and it caused issues straight <laughs> away. So our first one was yep. not good. So okay. just communicating. But I think with the business stuff, like with only fans and collaborating, it's just like, there's, we just treat it as business. Mm -hmm. It's just like mm -hmm. we don't we don't it's think of it as like a, an emotional connection. Um, and even I'd say for like outside of content and like as fun, same thing. Like mm -hmm. it's just like we know who we are. Yeah. We know we know kind of where our boundaries are. Um, <coughs> versus if she went off or I went off and just went and did behind like each other's a, backs. A, a well, that's that's behind the thing it. in business. Like we're fine with either of us going out and sleeping with people separately. Yeah, but. For pleasure, we will never do anything without the other person. There. Well, it's like you said, communication you is. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is news He's to like, you. Jeremy's like, no. wait. <laughs> oh. Whoops. <laughs> but like you said, communication is yeah. key. Communication yep. is very important. And I do think that was something that caused problems with me and Maddie. You know, like Maddie's beautiful. We did have a really good relationship for the most part. Obviously, we went separate ways. We did have problems, as every relationship does. But. I think communications where a few things went wrong, you know, like, mm. cause we did plenty of threesomes. We had a lot of fun and stuff and they caused a lot of problems mm. as opposed to being what they should have been, which is just a bit of fun. Just yep. have was fun. It a bit, would you say problems in business? Cause obviously there I don't was think business the, and then there was separate. Do you yeah, think I don't think the business side of collaborating with girls cause we only worked with a couple of girls. Other yep. than Isabel, I think we only worked with two other girls. Yep. Like okay. we, we didn't go too crazy with the work stuff, but yeah. we definitely did more outside of work, like partying, <laughs> having fun and that. And, you know, like there was always a new problem every time we did one is what yep. I found. Um, like you said, when you did it with the German person, there was no like, there was no like rule. You didn't like speak it out. Mm -hmm. yeah. There was no like, what's the word? Boundaries. There was no like, you yep. didn't say, hey, this is okay. This isn't, yep. this is, this isn't. Yep. Me and Maddie like kind of never discussed any of these things. We just, every single threesome was almost like that. With no, yeah. Like we didn't yeah. discuss the boundaries. What's off limits? What can we not do? You know, um, that's when we have to cross the bridges as they happen. And, you know, me and Maddie are both similar. We're both pretty emotional people you know like we've we both show our emotions express a lot and stuff mm. like that so when a problem would, would happen in the moment it would get pretty crazy and mm. like i think that's that's a good point how you said communication is key um i think it's beautiful because out of any married couples that i've met and a lot of other couples that aren't married you guys are like <gasps> by far and i'm not just saying this for the video by far <laughs> some of the most happiest friendliest loving caring people that i've ever met Thank you, bro. and you're Aww. both like very beautiful people inside and outside. And you guys really have very minimal dramas between each other. Like since I've known you, like you guys have had such a healthy, you are like best friends and like- Yeah, yeah. definitely. It's like best friends that get to fuck. Yeah. And share your lives with, you know, yeah. she does things to help you. You do things to help her. Very minimal arguments. And if there is, you cross it and you sort it out and you sit down as mature adults. And that's beautiful. And I think so many people out there are like, oh, how do, like they mustn't love each other if they sleep with other people. And it's like, I don't think that that's true. Like you can, you can do that. I think it makes like, it makes me love her more because it's such a trust thing to do this Definitely, first yeah. off. And then it's just like, you we've kind of built like a big name doing this for it. Like we were, as I said, we weren't big, but we've built a name doing this and I never thought it'd do as well as it did. And it's, 
it's only improved our relationship, really, hasn't it? It's made us stronger yeah. through all of these kind of bad things that have come. Yeah. I guess bad things, yeah. Hurdles, hurdles that have oh, come that's up. Sweet, I like that. I think yeah. that's really nice. Well, we have to handle it together. And I think it, you, you go. The whole reason it works is just like communication, right? Like, <laughs> is that like just like the one thing you just always you know exactly how the yeah. other person feels Open, about the situation? Honest communication. Yeah. That's literally the I'd like pretty much the number one thing, right? I can, yeah. I can relate yeah. to that because sometimes I'll come home and Lockie will be with like seven girls and be like, "You didn't tell me you were going to be sleeping <laughs> with seven girls," and he, and he bottles it up and we don't discuss it. <laughs> we end up arguing. Yeah, He's got seven Victoria's yeah. Secret models. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> Thin Victoria's Secret models How laying in his bed. You? Yep. Naked. Can I go to their house more? <laughs> for business. <laughs> but no, that's the that's the thing, is like people have to listen to these sorts of things with an open mind, you know, mm. because it's okay for everyone to have different interests and different thoughts and mm -hmm. like opinions on the world. And I think that's where everyone's like, oh, they shouldn't do that. They shouldn't do this. It's like yeah. if some people want to keep their relationship private and their sexual life private, mm -hmm. amazing. Do that. If that's what you both are into. Mm. But if some people are happy to be open and free and include other people and do it for work, do it for fun. It's also cool. And like you said, it brings you closer. Mm -hmm. Maddie's the first girl I've ever dated that was into doing threesomes and stuff like that. So it was new to me. I really liked it. I thought it was cool. And it made me really into the relationship as well. Cause like, yep. whoa, this is different. This is unique. Like, I also think it, it helps because like it can remove insecurities, but it can also bring in some insecurities yep. is what I also found. Like, oh yeah. Like well, said, it was trust. the first relationship I'd done in obviously same for you. Yep. And it is, it's something you've got to like find your way around. And it's like, yeah. probably you're not going to communicate well enough at the start. After, yeah. after your first threesome, like, and it didn't go to plan, how did your second <laughs> one go? Like, how did that, was it better? Well, was it more thought out? Guy, that guy I didn't know well, sorry. It was phenomenal. They went back yeah. to the workshop and they got the drawing board the out, drawing they got some board. pens, and they, went, they wrote down where they went wrong and they wanted to improve a few things. <laughs> yeah. Science, like think, the FBI I agents have got all the string pointed different things. I think there was just one key thing that turned it bad. <laughs> Man, there's something- Can we hear? Can we hear? One thing. There's something like they're just skipping over. No, we need to hear this. If you don't want to say it, it's fine. He came in me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. so that's a bit, that's a bit mean. So I, yeah. I tell the story. That? So I'd come in, I'd, I'd like, uh, we just had sex and I was like, Dal, you can't like, cause we were you can't not, live were we not engaged or were we, were we about we were engaged. It was so like we were, two months before our wedding. Before the wedding, I'm like, you can't get married and never had a threesome like that. That's, that's a horrible <laughs> time to have those kinds of dramas <laughs> right before the wedding. <laughs> really like, pushing the limits there. <laughs> I'm like, you can't live your life and not have a threesome in my opinion anyway. So I was like, just putting it out there. I'm like, Yellow. Like you got to live. Like if you want to do it, you just got to try everything. And she's just yeah. like, no. So we were going at it, You're and so we finished. Annoying. And I came, and I was just kept going. I'm like, I'm going to get. I only did it I'm to, shut to him get up. the guy. And yeah, she did it to shut him up. And then he just, this guy just went to Pound Town for like 40 well, minutes. He'd never had a threesome. <laughs> he'd never either, had a threesome. So he didn't know. Like, and then he just all of a sudden, boom. And I'm like, yeah. so he lasted a good 40 minutes of just yeah. pound, pounding, pounding yeah. for How 40 minutes. How was it? I mean, they didn't swap. Oh, yeah. So oh, got, oh, greedy. What the hell? Yeah. So basically, but, Jeremy was cuckolded by this German. But it was like, I, I think oral for me is something hard to. I think for it's a lot of, of dudes, it's like a lot of oral for it's a lot of dudes. It's very hard can't for come. him to come. Yeah. I think I came three times. He came from three oral. times when I was oh, wow. just from like, oral, I, I was, was just half like this. asking it because I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> <getting> like <laughs> you were like, what? <laughs> uh, okay, I'd come three times as well if I saw that face. But that's good. It's like you said, you got to set boundaries, have the trust, communicate. I think that's the most important. And then. I'd also like to come back to the other thing. What is the craziest you've done? Craziest thing on OnlyFans. You said obviously the two dicks. I played with my poop. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Which you're not allowed to do anymore, by the way, so don't. No shit bodily fluids. Yeah, yeah, people I request some yeah, crazy oh, stuff. Yeah. I couldn't That's do. your craziest thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not, not good with piss. I just couldn't do shit. Shit's nah. like my, I don't know. Nah. Yeah. You, don't, you reckon two dicks in your fanny <clears> is <throat> less hardcore than playing with your shit? Mm -hmm. I reckon there, yeah, the shit's pretty hardcore. Because so I think is. eventually, like down the track, like maybe if the situation arose, I would do that outside of OnlyFans. Mm. But I would never play with my shit. See, I'm not into yeah. like, <laughs> I'm not into girls like shitting. I'm not sexist. I'm definitely not mm. sexist. I love women and I appreciate women. But like, if a oh. girl, I, if I'm dating a girl, she can't shit. Like, <laughs> she has to, she has to hold that in until we I break up. I would go in that bathroom like we had. A she has to bathrooms. either learn a new way to excrete. Do you remember when you pulled my finger that one time? I do. You didn't shit though. It was That's a scarred Jackson. Yeah, I know. I, I can handle it differently when it's a girl I'm friends with farting. But if my like my chick farts, it's a big one. I know people are like, oh, it's beautiful. No, <laughs> Jackson looked like he saw a fucking dead body. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm allowed to fart, of course. Yeah. I can of fart. Of course, of course, I can. Yeah, fart. that's of fair. course. I agree with women. This. Don't poo. I'm not sexist, guys. I just know what I like. Now you know why I walk around sad. Sometimes. Also, probably a good good reason why I haven't been able to keep a relationship. <laughs> and to be fair, I had a long four and a half year ish relationship, and then I 
I don't know. And then she finally shit. No, no, no. Well, that wasn't the reason we broke up. Not that one anyway. I thought, oh, oh, don't, don't get me into this stuff. So I guess like you had good things to say when I asked about like her sleeping with someone else and Jeremy mm-hmm. sleeping with someone else. And I think you just explained it all really well. Okay. Cool. So, and do you enjoy watching her get fucked? Yeah. Because it's like, yeah, so th- that's such yeah, a- I was going to say something a bit nicer than getting fucked, like having sex maybe, or like, but it's not making love because you're not making love with these people. No. It's, He's um, the love you it, make. This <laughs> has been the biggest question. And actually, Troy, when we met me, he goes, are you bi? Like he fully sat me down and <laughs> goes, bro, I have to know. He couldn't wrap his he head couldn't around wrap the concept. His head around it. I don't think <coughs> many people can. Like, even no. like, yeah, even when I try to think about it, like, I, I don't know, it's that. just different people, I guess. Yeah. You know so, what I mean? Because there's so many people who do. Um, but for me, it's like detracting. It's like when I'm having sex with her, it's like I can't tell like her pleasure because let's say her head's pushed down and buried into the, <laughs> into, the, into the bed or something or even like most positions, you can't see her facial expressions versus yeah. when you're doing it, you actually you're seem like- You're taking a step back and yeah. seeing like the whole picture. Especially when it's like- Interesting. Smart. When it's outside of content, Especially because it's actually probably more. So of you're a connection. practically sat back. You're observing and trying to learn. You're Jeremy's out here playing chess. You're, you're <laughs> playing checkers. This man's ahead of the game. He's happily sat there to really study his woman. facial expressions. What facial works. expressions? What position she looks happiest in? Yeah, he's learning. This is a real man. But it's if you also, ask me. it's the same thing. It's like if if we're gonna have a threesome with a girl, mm-hmm. and it, this is I'm talking outside of content now. It's. You want to enjoy it, so it's like, but also and I for, want to enjoy. Yeah, it. but she wants to enjoy enjoy it's, it too, and it's like if if she, if I want to have a threesome with a girl, I'm probably gonna have to open up. If she wants that, it's not fair if I just it's go. It's a lot harder to find a girl. I find because mm. with guys, you're not touching the guy; they're not touching you. It's literally I wish they're I just. Was. It's just me, and but also with without girl, sounding- like I'm Sorry. bisexual, so I want to be attracted to. Her and I want her to be attracted to me and him. Yeah. Otherwise, she's just doing it to fuck him. It's a very specific mix. Well, that was a problem with Maddie as well. You know, yeah. Maddie had that same fear because Maddie's mm. been through things like that in her past, and that's that's fair. Yeah. She she's allowed to have those issues. You know, if that's something that happens, you're 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 going to have those like traumatic mm. things stay in yep. your brain, I and mean, you're always going to be a little bit paranoid. Absolutely. You can find ways to deal with it and cope, and you know, manage that thought and and try to overcome it. But it's always going to be there. And I think, mm. I, I think, uh, without sounding sexist again, I think like. It's so smart what you said. Like it's it's easier or it's better to get like guys to be involved or whatever because I also think a lot of guys don't put as much thought or emotion into it. Mm-hmm. Oh, hundred percent. To, to a lot of like lads, like a lot of boys or guys and that, they're like, oh, it's just a bit of fun, whatever. I'll just, yeah. I mean, I'll just they're fucking, just getting the rocks off. Oh, fine, I'll get my load off and then I'm, yep. I'm out of there. I don't care. I'm not going to want to date them. I'm not going to want to do it behind their back. Whereas a lot of girls can be a bit more like they, they feel and think a lot more mm. into it, which is which is fine. Yep. It's we're different people. And yep. Yeah, that's not so. to say there's not girls that just want to go in and have sex as well and get a quickie <laughs> and feel good. There's lots of girls that want to do that. Absolutely, and there's a lot of guys that really want to feel shit too. You know, yep. I'm really going to do it. But I think for the most part, a mm. lot of guys they're just like, it's just sex. What is your criteria when looking mm. for someone? Well, for a guy, I need to be attracted to him. Yep, of you course. Don't, you Wait, don't are we now talking? Him. Doesn't matter. Are we talking like if maybe. this is for business or pleasure? Pleasure, or first. pleasure. Ah. Business um, but, is business and I think it's pretty like straightforward. I feel like we need to know them in some way so that there's already trust and respect there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. For me, it's like, if it's a dude, it's trust. But biggest thing is energy. Like mm. the one that was successful and there's only been one, well, there's only been two with dudes we were best mates for 20 years. So it was yeah. just like a hoot. We were playing table tennis prior, went and did a three three hour threesome. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Legit three hours. Walked back downstairs, started playing table tennis. Like it's just yeah. like- it So was many just people like, would be scared of that ruining like a friendship yeah. or something. Yeah, and it was just like, yeah. it, was it was just normal. so transactional. Yeah, interesting. It was easy. It was, <laughs> it was literally consensual. easy. Oh, that's, that's good. <laughs> hey, that's right. <laughs> what was it? Consensual. Everything is- Consensual. Oh, like, maybe we could make something work down the track. I saw an interesting video the other day. I wanted to talk about, I saw an interesting video from Andrew Tate. Everyone knows who Tate is at the moment. Lockie's a big fan of Tate, actually. Oh, I just never said that in my life ever. Like, He's, yeah. he, comes <laughs> in, he comes in and tells me pretty, pretty regularly. But, never. Okay, I'll admit it. He never said that. But everyone knows who Andrew Tate is. Tate's a very controversial guy on the internet right now. I personally quite like him. I think he's he's honest. He's brutally honest. And he's just saying things how they are. A few things I don't agree with, but a few things I do agree with. And... Um, I saw a video of him talking about OnlyFans, about the woman doing OnlyFans <laughs> and having a woman guest today. I wanted to show her the video. We're going to play it on the screen. I want to show a couple of videos and get your feedback and thoughts on what your- Well, this is good. This what is you have juicy. to say here. I, I do like him though. Mm. 
you say a lot of stuff about women like that they're your property. That's not what I said. I was talking about an OnlyFans company when that was question was asked. But I said that if a woman is going out with a man, she belongs to that man. That's his woman. So she wants to do OnlyFans. She owes him some money because she's his. Well, that's crazy. That one's crazy. If you, so you think that a man going out with a girl, that that's just your property? That one was nuts. I'm, I'm nuts now. Good. <laughs> if a guy and a girl is dating and a girl does OnlyFans, she owes him a cut? She is his girl. But what does that have to do with anything? Because she's his. So that is you saying that women are y your property. It's not about being property. It's about the fact that she belongs to him. And the intimate parts like of her body enough. belong to him because they're in a relationship. <laughs> he, has those. he has a stake in those intimate parts of her body. So it's reverse. A uh, male porn star owes the woman. I don't know because I think the women belong to the man. I think the woman. Yeah, that's inherently man. where you get called mm. sexist for. Mm. All right, so that's just that's just the first one that we want to do. <laughs> yep. That I wanted to bring up. Where's the other one? A day for the guys. Okay, that's that's probably enough for that one. So, what are your thoughts on what Tate said there? I'm going to ask both of you, but I'm going to start with Isabel because this will be a bit. Fiery, I can well, essentially, essentially, you're saying that he owns the woman. And so, in a relationship, you you own the woman, but shouldn't we own each other? So, shouldn't I own you? So, I should get some of your money because you're selling your body for your work, regardless of whether you're selling your naked body. No, I own you. I'm holding her hand because I want her to know that I mean no harm and I love her. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to speak my mind here. Yeah, good. I I think what he says isn't true but it is Ooh, elaborate for me i think it could be situational mm. oh i like this in a way this is good because you got to like you got to pull this <laughs> apart i think you got to pull this apart how i think how i think it could be situational is like if you've got like <laughs> someone who's like you know really popular like you you've done early fans before mm. no because I, I don't i know. think i know where you're going and, I you, think and you bring like someone who's like a, a nobody you know what mm. I mean? And you're like, not, not like a nobody, but like, you know. <laughs> yeah, someone, have who a, hasn't done someone that work. isn't yeah. known is what Lockie means. And yeah. if you help them bring up, like if you promote mm. their OnlyFans. I think that's reasonable. I, I think like, that's I, fair. I don't, it, but yeah. I don't think most of the money should be going no. to the guy. No, definitely if not. If their success is dependent upon yeah. the other person. Mm. But even I, then, I don't think it's like- See, I don't think be, she should have to pay him anything out of what she owns. No, then he should have to pay her like something out of his way. I agree that. I think- it, what he means, though, it's different because she's selling her body parts, her image, these things, her sexual side that only he should be getting. That's how he feels. Mm. He feels he should be the only person that gets to see his woman like that. Yep. So if other people are, he wants something out of that. Whereas his job, he's not exploiting himself like that. He's not showing himself. He's just making his money online, training people, teaching people things. He's selling his body, essentially. Everyone's really? selling their body. How's he you selling? work a nine to five job, you're selling your body. because He's selling his image and likeness. Yeah. I guess, but like... He's also like sharing information and knowledge and stuff that's not like private stuff. He's yep. also like helping business things and stuff like that. Whereas he's not like sharing his dick and like things that only his woman should be seeing. Yep. I'm just trying to look at it from both yeah. perspectives. Like, I, I, do you I reckon like he do threesomes though? Yeah. I feel like 100% Definitely. he would be down to a Definitely. threesome. <coughs> it's cause like, I, I, don't, I don't agree <laughs> with him saying she should have to give him like a whole chunk of the money. I think, she should have to pay for her own way. I think like it should be like an even thing. Mm. I think if she's doing OnlyFans making a heap of money, but he's also making heaps of money, yeah. he shouldn't have to pay for everything. I agree. If she's yep. getting to 100%. earn good money, I think she should pay for just as many things as he does. That should yep. be normal in and any that's, relationship. But it's that's not, how we, we know that. Yeah, that's how we were, have always worked. Like there's like, been periods before where- We had a where, joint bank account like two months into our relationship. Which is <laughs> like, which, not everyone would, no. but that's actually probably quite like rare, I'd say yeah. for a lot of people. They wouldn't some people do, share. some people don't. It's, yeah. yeah, it's really like, a, it's a fine line. People have like really strong uh, opinions on yeah. that. Yeah, but we've had times accounts. where she's earned more, I've earned more, and then now obviously Obviously, this was a joint venture and we were just kind of always of the opinion it share it. So it I think is. it's like, it's very uh, individual with this too. It's like, it depends on your kind of values and your beliefs and and maybe to an extent your morals on on kind of how you, you handle it and what you think your relationship is. Yeah. It's like, I own this bitch. Because I don't agree. I, I don't agree you. that. <laughs> oh. Sounds like we don't actually communicate. I think he should be getting 80% of your OnlyFans. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I should yeah. be getting 80% of his then. No, it's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> you make more. You make and more. this is where we get called out for being sexist. We're just joking. We're joking. But like, I like, love women. Mm. It's okay. Before OnlyFans, like in porn, wasn't the girls always getting paid more than the guys? Or was, was that wrong? Ooh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it is. Question. I'm pretty sure no Riley, Riley Reid said something like that. 
Hmm. I don't Probably, know. Yeah. I think the guys get less. I would, you know what? I'd say so because let's be honest, how many more guys yeah. are watching porn? Oh. But a lot of girls no, watch I think porn it's, it's not for the guys that though. Stigma. But then also like a lot guys, of guys watch porn for guys. No, but so. I think it's more about the stigma where it's like, it's okay for guys to sleep around. Yeah, if you yeah. like, if you're a, a guy, they're a fucking legend if yeah. they go out and sleep with ten girls in a night. Boys. What if a girl goes <laughs> yeah. out and does the same? She's a whore. Yeah, like there's yeah, still that. See, I personally think yeah, if a girl does that, yeah. she's a legend as well. Yeah, same. I think anyone that does it's a bit of a legend. If a girl does that, I'm hitting her up. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Lachlan put a ring on. Slide to his DMs, people. That's wife material for Lachlan over here. <laughs> That's right. what I look for in a woman. <laughs> if you haven't slept with over a hundred people, I'm not interested. <laughs> in a year. You're, you're shit out of luck. How many people have you guys slept with for work? Oh yeah, let's, let's do numbers. Ooh. Do you count? I think I'm oh. only on 13 girls. Only on 13. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> only? No, cause I think people on, think we Am I counting girls and guys for me? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I guess you can have sex with a girl. Kind of. Yeah, of course yeah. you can. Yeah. Do you want a calculator? So, yeah, I would. <laughs> do you want a calculator? <laughs> Just a rough number, it doesn't have to be exact. Well, if you've done girls, it'd easy be double. Well, I've done four guys. Oh, yeah, oh really? True. There's not. No, yeah, there's five not guys, many. Five guys. Yep. And then probably five guys. Uh, Very good let's, burger place. Let's just say fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Oh no, because you've done some girls that I haven't, so you'd easily be at twenty because I haven't slept with the guys. Which one was the best? Really? Which one was I, the most enjoyable I we collaborations were to you've done? That stuff. Out of all the collabs you've done with everyone, who most what would enjoyable. be the most enjoyable one? Not just like the vibes, maybe like which ones did you just both feel the best? Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. Honestly, there hasn't, it, it's coming down it's to hard two. To pinpoint. The, oh no, there's just coming down to two. All of them I have not enjoyed that much. Again, cause it's just business, yep. but the energy, <laughs> um, probably, obvious, probably with yourself or oh, Zach and Tiana. Really? I hated it. Or Zach and Tiana. That was going to be my guess. I was, gonna, I was like, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. no, I was, I was gonna say the foursome oh, that we you did mean with Maddie, Maddie and Jeremy. Or the most recent foursome with Zach and Tiana. Oh, yeah. was a, oh never mind. Sorry. Oh. Nothing, 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 nothing. <laughs> oh. I was literally yeah, going to say, who's the fourth? That was retarded. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I only did a few with a few, a few people, you know, because like, yep. I was with Maddie and like, we didn't include many other guys or anything. Obviously, like mm. when you were with Isabel and stuff, we do like those, but... <clears throat> Yeah, so I didn't really sleep. Like I only slept probably three or four people for content. And yeah, you did. Yeah, you didn't. Because I that. wanted to keep it a little bit like limited sort of thing. I didn't want to go too crazy. Like with yeah. it. I, I, me and Maddie were doing pretty good. Like just just us. Just and the then truth, I was like, yeah. maybe we can include. We wanted to work with the right people. We felt like quality over quantity. I thought yeah. was good. Like and the same with you guys. Like compared to the average person that does OnlyFans, people are sleeping with a lot more people than that. Mm -hmm. People are fucking probably over like a hundred. You know what I mean? Like, do you think yeah. we answered well? That brings me back. Did we answer that question well from Alex? Like, how do you choose yeah, your criteria? We, yeah. I think oh, so. I feel like we answered like from a male perspective, but we, were, but we didn't actually say how we choose women. But we were also answering it from a pleasure standpoint, not business. Oh, we weren't yeah. talking but about- But your work. two best yeah. shoots were with the people you're closest with. Almost, yeah, right? yeah. Like you're the closest with Jackson, you're closest with Zach and Tiana. Yep. And you said one of your criterias is you say, like your relationship with them, you like how close you are, trust, respect, energy. Yep. So I guess touching back on the whole like criteria thing and like, how do you pick people? Is there specific things you look for and stuff? I think it was good how you said like connections, like the energy, make sure you trust each other, all the people. But do you ever like get on the on the level where you're like, you want to pick someone that's not as good looking or like bigger, <laughs> smaller or different, eth different like ethnicity. Is that the word? <laughs> ethnicity, is that what you want? <laughs> different <Ooh>. ethnicity. <laughs> someone with a monster dong. I need to yeah. say that word again, different <laughs> ethnicity. That's the word? Ethnicity. Uh, ethnicity. Ethni no, there's no I after eth. Yeah. Eth eth like ethnic, but eth Oh, so ethnicity is how- You got it. I'm gonna be a genius <laughs> by the end of this podcast. I'm gonna learn words as I go. So yeah. Um, good question. So in terms of like requests now, like because we've done it for so long. So if a fan says I wanna- Wait, are we talking business or pleasure? We're talking business now. Are we? <clears throat> Aren't we? Yeah, I think so. I think All so, right, cool. yeah. Um, like nowadays, because we've done it for so long, a massive request that keeps coming up is a BBC. Mm -hmm. Everyone oh, who does like it. a what is big that? black cock? And you are down for that? I'm down for it if he's attractive. Very good business decision, but finding it obviously over here or here yeah. in Australia is, is hard. Yeah. Um, but how we pick people can be to what we're getting requested. So like That's listening smart. listening to your audience and really going, okay, they want this. This is a good business decision. I like that. Cause then you're almost guaranteed that people are ready to see it. Yeah. People are yeah. people are wanting to see, you're not taking a, like a guess. You're yep. not trying and just 
you got people asking to see a, spe a specific thing and then yeah. you will try that, yeah. And if it's worth it for you, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And then like in terms of at the start, we kind of, once we start, we did us and then we got into collabs, it was kind of like we we were pretty open. We'd take a lot of people, but there had to be a benefit. And at that time, everything was actually selling well. Yeah. But then it was getting to the point where we were like, and especially for me, I'll let you answer for yourself. Mm -hmm. I was like, I need to be attracted because it's starting to feel like really hard to do and and like I'm talking myself out of it. It affects your performance. Well, you like, want to be turned on. Yeah. It's, it's, and it's, that's the biggest thing. I remember sitting <clears throat> down with my doctor and this is probably stuff that a lot of people who aren't in this industry but are maybe dying to as dudes, it's hard to stay hard when and even when you're pumping pills like Viagra's and stuff. Yeah, I was about to and I went and that. said to him, I sat, sat down with my doctor, I said, I'm having Viagra's, this is what I do, and they're not working. And they're like, if you're not emotionally switched you have on. Have that mental connection so there, yeah. It very much became like important for us to pick people that we actually would maybe sleep with outside of our relationship because you, have to get you need about it. Yeah, you yeah. have to get a track because you want it to look good, but you also want to perform well. So that's a big massive yeah. thing in in now our selection process and we've really become a lot harder. Mm -hmm. Um, in picking the people. Yeah, so I've never had that problem because my dick's so small. It's very easy to get blood there. It needs like one drop to be hard. And what about hard. if you had some like white? Like some powder? Yeah. Oh, if I was intoxicated? Yeah. The other things? Still works. But I, really? I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I don't much anymore. But like- I would just take like some Viagra or something anyway, just for the mm. crack of it, because it's gonna make it, it's just gonna make it better, you know. <laughs> Red devils. Have pleasure you ever, over heart health. Pleasure over heart health. True. Have you ever like like um, started a film like you've set up a big day to film with people, <laughs> came in two seconds and then fucked the shoot off? Has that happened before? No. So yeah, I no. bro in like in 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 real life. Like he's like half an hour to it's forty annoying. minutes. But in a collab, yeah. there was this one time, so it was. Well, probably one of my second <laughs> second last collabs. I'd never come in a collab ever, really, Whoa. except with yeah, her. Never, never, never. And I would like I was fifty minutes in at least. Like the video, wow. she actually <laughs> cut so much out because there was too, yeah, too much. I was footage. filming. She was cheering me on. I, I had to like, go shower because I was sweating like, so much. <laughs> and then I brought the towel yeah, in. Shower because you're sweating so much. I towel myself yeah. down twice, and she's like, "You can do it." And then like an hour in, and I you was were like, just like finally. head down like a little jackrabbit. <laughs> yeah, tunnel like, vision. Bro, it's the worst, <laughs> worst footage ever because I just was like so focused, sweating like crazy. But he got there. I got there. I'm so, so proud of you. <laughs> yeah, like, are you asking like a bad experiences? <laughs> no, just like, have you ever had to cut a film real like a because no. you've come so quick? Like, no, you've no. Never came. See, that, that's happened to me. We've had to cut shoots short because he <laughs> like couldn't you keep bastard. it up. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, well, yeah. So there's been once. some hilarious. I can't wait. Once we finish, we're actually going to write like when we we met on Tinder. There was a book An Tinder. You met on Tinder. We met on yeah. Tinder in oh, Canada. Wow. wow. Yeah. Tinder's forming true. Marriages. Oh, yeah. there you go. That's how my mum met her boyfriend. My sister met her boyfriend. Um, Crazy. Got a kid. Fucking yeah. Holy. So many people meet on Tinder. I know heaps of people we met on Tinder. And then there's like I don't know if you knew about before. I I got straight on it like when I went overseas because I was in a small town. I didn't want Aim. people to know me. And I got back and I was like, all these people like talking about catfish and Tinder nightmares and shit. And I was like, wow. And then we bought it and read Tinder nightmares and I was <laughs> literally laughing. So. When we finish this, we definitely want to do like OnlyFans nightmares because there's been really yeah. good experiences, yeah. but then there's, there's been like some shockers. some shockers, like absolute shockers. I can only imagine, like I've experienced enough myself and I haven't worked with quite as many people and I've still had to see a lot of shit. And, yeah. So that'd be interesting. Yeah. Something like that. I really like that. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we could collab on that. Maybe we could. I only had the one occasion where I like busted straight away. What was that? You want to talk about it? <laughs> yeah, we can. I guess. I guess we can talk about I it. I need a pep talk on this. Yeah. I'm so <clears throat> we're doing a video with Maddie's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't know what it was. I like, I know at the time I got off, uh, I actually stopped Zoloft like when I was taking medication at the time. This is about a year and a half ago. And when you're on Zoloft, uh, for anyone wondering, it's an antidepressant. And when you stop taking it, you can actually like come really fast again because it actually prolongs like oh. climaxing, it can make it harder to get an erection. It can like ruin, like it can do erectile dysfunction, make you shoot blanks, make you come quick or any of these things. It can make you not come at all. Yep. It does come with problems. I didn't have to experience any of them luckily enough. I think it actually helped me if anything. And when I was off it, the first few weeks, maybe first month that I was having sex after it, I was just instant. Bang. So for that collab, wow. it just kind of didn't work out. <laughs> wow, but, that's interesting. Yeah. So you don't think it was situational because doing like Maddie's cousin is pretty naughty. It is or a bit naughty. Do you think that contributed? Matt, just so everyone knows, Maddie and her cousin weren't touching each other because then it's weird. 
Well, it's not weird. It's just not. It's kind of like a fantasy movie. Maybe it was like. Yeah. It's like yeah. two sisters. Yeah. Yeah, it is it's like the like twins. That. Yeah. Should sell it for like a dollar. The video. That's all it's worth. It just didn't last long. Alrighty, so I want to show one more video of the man Tate to Isabel and just to get some last opinions quickly, <laughs> just touching back on this subject. What would you do if I wanted to start an OnlyFans? This is just another I don't think there's anything intrinsically wrong with women doing OnlyFans, mm -hmm. as long as I had influence and control over it. What do you mean? Doing In a video photographer and get the angles, yeah? No, 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 I'm not doing any real work, but just like taking all the money. <laughs> If my chick said, I want to do OnlyFans, I'm like, all right, then cool, go do it. How much you made? 10 grand, all right, give me eight. All right, cool. All Why right. would, what woman is going to give you eight grand? You're my woman, you're doing OnlyFans. You're selling my product, what the fuck? Your product. Yes, correct. Not, not Next question. Position. No. She, I don't know if you're being serious. <laughs> I'm totally that. serious. How would I let my chick do OnlyFans and keep all the money? That's disrespectful. What woman is ever going to give you that? Then she better not do OnlyFans. So Duh. I'm excited for your answer on this one. <clears throat> all right, I've asked Isabel. I'd like to ask you now. What do you personally think about the, what he's saying? So I think Answer it depends. Carefully, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll say whatever the f I want. No, I don't give. I a think fuck. I think it depends on like for him. Obviously, his opinion for his woman is that that's mine. Mm. No one else gets it. Versus for me, I don't give a fuck. Like I really don't care. It's like, so old school that like. Yeah, it yeah. depends on I think how you picture it. Like obviously, Isabel's father. That's a big no-no. So yeah. fair enough. So for for him, that works. For me, it's like, yeah, it's just like I think it's a personal opinion. Well, everyone has their own views and opinions yeah. and thoughts, you know. And I think everyone's entitled to have yeah. their own opinions. And like people are allowed to disagree as well. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. that's normal. I think like the problem is it's like I think I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but it's like everyone feels so like not entitled maybe it's entitled it's just like everyone thinks that everyone has to agree on everything mm. mm -hmm. whereas i think it's healthy to not oh, agree on things yeah, i think it's good yeah. that most of the world see things differently yeah to it to an extreme like i'm not going to go like to the fucking craziest situations but on certain things i think it's good that people don't agree like yep. it's, it's what makes people different yeah can bring people closer you can figure out who you do and don't want to be around yeah and i think that that's like just the typical like cancel culture fucking um, people that are like are supporting that stuff and they're like, oh, if someone doesn't think what I think's right, then they're wrong and blah, blah, blah. They should be canceled for this. Like, mm, But yep. I do agree what he's saying for the most part. Like, yeah, I don't think he should be taking that much money from his partner. I think if she makes good money, she should put in and look after them as well. Yeah, not necessarily yeah. just give him money. Yeah. Like, but it you know sounds what? like Help he would like house. his partner doing it though, which yeah. is the thing too. Exactly. So it's like, if he doesn't really have a choice, then I need to, I need to be paid for it. Mm -hmm. So there's it's like if if my if she didn't like doing it, then hundred percent I'd be like I want some money for this because I don't agree with it, but I love you and I want to be with you. So if that's what you do, but I feel like you need to share some some of the money. So I think you can look at it from so many ways. That one, yeah. Mm. If he had input, maybe like if he like was doing <coughs> something to fucking help it, maybe yeah. he'd get some money. But well, like what Lockie was like starting to touch on before is it's like, for example, right? Like if I started dating a girl, yeah, and she's doesn't even really have any social media stuff. She mm. just starts an Instagram where she starts dating me or whatever, just so she can upload some photos. She's got a thousand followers or whatever. No one to really market things to, but she's good looking and stuff. And if we're going to do OnlyFans together and I've worked my whole life to build a big following mm -hmm. and I'm going to do all the marketing and I'm going to bring in the fans, the viewers, these things. So I could see why he would feel different if it was something like that. Yep. I think maybe that shouldn't be 50-50 if, yep. if one person's bringing a lot more. If it's a really long relationship and you've been together for a long time before you would like became someone or made money or had any success, yep. maybe you just do it 50-50 because both bodies are in it, both people are equally in it. But yep. I think that would be the only occasion where it would make sense to like have a different yeah. payment like method. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. Mm. A 50 50 is so easy. Like you just both do the same amount of work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah if, if that's if you're involved, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Not if you're doing absolutely nothing yeah, and getting money. That's even pretty if fucked. Jeremy wasn't involved, like we both pay the bills. Yeah. Like we, we split everything. Yeah. So yeah. like essentially he'd be getting 50 50 anyway. Yeah. Yeah. True. <clears throat> no, I like that. I think that's a good take on it all. So, mm. so what's next? What's next for you guys? Like you're still doing OnlyFans now. You've just recently moved. What's, what's the plans for Jeremy and Isabel? Hmm. Where do you, you see yourselves in 46 and years? Isabel and Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is huge. We got, we got, I think we might have the alpha one at the ta <laughs> table over here. Do today. So who we? wears the pants if that's I the case? I did wear pants at the wedding. What? What? You had two dresses and <laughs> pants. <laughs> two dresses and pants? Why did you yeah. have pants? She was I a bridesmaid. She bride a suit. Oh my God. But you didn't wear that like when you were like saying I do no. and stuff. Nah. She had oh, a different fuck. dress. She had a dress for that I was about to say, we just wasted so much time because I'm not posting this. Was the dancing dress shorter? No, it was tighter. Oh, oh. yeah. How are you supposed one to was like the big, like the the one where you say I do is like a big freaking. It, it wasn't that big, but yeah. 
look pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> Could you dance well in a tight dress? Yeah. Because yeah. you're pretty flexible from what I've seen. Well, I, I wasn't doing the pretzel on the dance. Do you want to show us the pretzel yeah. quickly on the table? <laughs> yeah, the pretzel. I'm in very tight jeans. I think is it. I think not gonna, if I they split in jeans. certain places, we don't care. <laughs> Do it. Oh, sorry. No, I think, I think, answer the, question I think the viewers want to see a pretzel. <laughs> pretzel. I think I will answer the question. Okay. Can you answer and the question? I, in I, think she's just, I think she's throwing a smoke bomb in, hoping we're going to forget, but I will not forget. Neither. Can I pee first? Mm -hmm. Okay, sick. Yeah, you can pee first. Yeah. <laughs> if, if she's going to do it right here. Right there. Quick question. Someone's going to have to support my back so I don't roll backwards, though. Jackson can support Because I will back. roll I can off support the table. Your back. I can support your back. He supported No one you, supports crap. his. I'm a very good back support. <laughs> Just I need not, back not his own back. Yeah, I need a lot of back support. <laughs> I need a fucking fake spine. And I think um, the next question I want to ask, very personal, very serious. Mm. So please don't take it the wrong way. Fuck one, marry one, kill one, Isabel. Us three. I'm getting slaughtered. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I've already, I don't think I've, so. been, I've already married you. I've already fucked you. So so I'm, I'm, I'm slaughtered. I mean, Oh, I'll take it. But, it. but, 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 because you've fucked Fuck. me, because you've married him, does that want to give you a different... I'm like a lucky Fuck, dip. Fuck, marry, kill. This what? is what I thought she was going to say. You're in luck. Yes. What did you get? Married. No, you got yeah. fucked. Oh, what oh what? No, you got fucked. I oh, got fucked. No, I got married. I got married. He got married. Oh, married, fucked? Yep. <laughs> she wouldn't well. marry her own husband. <laughs> 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 that threw right. me off. No, no, no. no. Oh, I'm no. Muslim. I can have two husbands. Oh, there you go. That's not how it works. Marry, marry. <laughs> Marry, marry, no fuck, kill. That's not how it works. I think I, I agree with the Muslim religion. I like it. I like their ways. I yeah, mean, me I, I think they're a bit brutal towards girls, but I mean, I like the fact they can have a lot of wives. Who started that? Like, that's like, he's just like, nah, I'm having more Ashwagandha? Muhammad? Yeah. Ashwagandha started On you, Muhammad. it. <laughs> Muhammad Ashwagandha, he started that. Yeah. He started that rule. Yeah. Muhammad Ashwagandha. Root. What? Really? What? what? <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty sure. Is there anything else you can think of, Alex? You didn't even. Oh. Did we answer the question about what we like plan on doing in the future? Oh, no, got we oh, yeah, we'll we go got sidetracked by the wedding and the pretzel. We've done that a few times. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we, that's why we do these. We live and we learn. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, going back to the question, what is in the foreseeable future for you guys? Mm. Plans. You want to talk about like kids? Uh, kids. More leaning towards no. Yep. Not yep. fast. Um. With in terms of OnlyFans, like a progression that we've actually had set up for quite some time, but just some. Some issues that we like had along the way kind of interrupted it. A year it like, and a half that yeah, we've been trying to get it done. Yeah, so she had the BBL and stuff. Um, it was Brazzers. We were in contact yeah. with Brazzers. So, Brazzers, so we still want to do that <laughs> because it's just a, another <laughs> phenomenal way to market. Well, that's probably like the number one porn site in the world right now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That and Pornhub. I mean, I guess- well, they're owned like, by- Yeah. Pornhub owns them. Yeah, yeah, well, they're like one of the subscription websites, yeah? yeah. Same as yep. like the Reality Kings, all these other things. So. Yeah. yeah. That's so pretty that's, big. That's something that we could have done ages ago, like it was set up, mm. and then she had her surgery and then had to go back in again. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of just delayed it, didn't we? Yep. Um, so we kind of just put it on the back burner and focused on other stuff and collabs, et cetera. Yep. But that's, now that we've pulled back on collabs, that's one of the big things. And then for me, my my fitness business, mm -hmm. getting right back into my fitness business is is kind of taken all my attention and yep. Isabel's now handling 99% of OnlyFans really. See, that's I'm good teamwork. She's taking a bit of like the reins to help out with some of the business side of things whilst you're focusing on building another business thing. Yeah. And when your business thing goes well, then you'll be able to help her. And you just, yep. that's, what's a, that's a healthy marriage right there, guys. Not like you owe me this or I get this. That's a healthy yeah. fucking marriage. You guys mm. are beautiful We're and I fucking love you. Yeah, thank you. I love you. I wasn't talking to you guys, I was talking to Lockie. Oh, thank you. I still love oh. you. Okay, thank <laughs> me you. too, actually. It's nice to know someone does. Um, and you've got one other thing that you've already been working on, haven't you? Ooh. Oh, it's obviously not that important to you. Well, uh, <laughs> no, 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 I just wasn't sure like if what you were talking about. Um, oh. Don't no, have to talk, don't no, have to talk well, about anything? I've always loved fashion and I was gonna do fashion design after school, but I got talked out of it by my family and. Family so friends. if your family talks you out of doing something like no. this, sorry to interrupt you, but your family's talked you out and gotten angry at you for doing OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. They didn't want you to do fashion stuff. This sounds like a bit of a controlling family. I'm sorry, I'm saying it. Oh no, he's narcissistic as fuck. So if he didn't want you to do like a normal job or like something you were passionate no, about. No, I, I needed to work for him and then take over the family See, business. See, that's, that's shit. Mm. You are a horrible. <laughs> she was very good too. I've seen all the drawings. She was 
unbelievable. You drew like from what age were you drawing ball gowns and stuff or whatever they are? Like six. Dresses. It's nice yeah. when you can pick up a hobby like that you did when you were younger. Mm. Like you like to no, kind of like be great. Yeah. Now you've got yeah. freedom, the time, financial backing. You've got yeah. all the all opportunity in the world now to do those things, which is cool. So and the belief of like being able to sell what we've sold on OnlyFans to the whole world. It just opens your eyes of, of like yeah, what's but also possible. it was very liberating for me. Like mm. it was empowering. I was like <clears throat> on my own, financially independent from my family. Mm. Because so I think now that's the I have problem with those. way more belief in myself. Ooh, what are you going to yeah. say? I think that's a problem as well with someone like your your father, who you know might have a bit of money and he's provided and done these things and bought you things. It's like mm-hmm. he thinks he doesn't look at that as like I was care and love my daughter. I want to make sure she's good. It's like I own her now. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm doing Big these time. to use them against you, kind of thing. Big that's time. how it seems to me, yep. which is just a pathetic way to be as a human being. It's it's a fucking cowardly act by a father. I her dad is Andrew Tate. Ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's a shame, but I mean. It is what it is. And you guys are, I also think like a, what people do for their career doesn't define them as a person or their character, mm. their morals or anything. Cause I think you too, like I've said twice already, you're some of the most beautiful people that I've ever met. I've never met such gentle, kind, caring, loving, open people. So I think it's weird that he's like so judgmental of those things, but is what it is. Can I ask, cause yep. I care. What are your plans? What are, what are Lockheed's plans? I don't know what Lockheed's doing, man. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing either. <laughs> I have no idea what Lockheed's doing. Yeah. Lockie's practically my caretaker at this point. He just takes me to the hospitals, <laughs> the doctors, the dentists, the x-rays. Pretty much that's all Lockie's doing right now. <laughs> bit of editing, bit of working on things, training, and taking me constantly to my appointments because I am a 28-year-old man with more problems than a 90-year-old guy who's done a million triathlons. High maintenance. I'm very high, high maintenance. He's a good dude, though. I'm a nice person inside, I think. I think I mean well. I think so. <laughs> but I'm glad you asked. The podcast is going to be a big focus something I'm passionate about. I want to be able to do some serious episodes. I want to try to help people with some mental health knowledge or advice or things I've been through to show people that everyone does go through these things. It doesn't matter how great your life looks. Mm -hmm. Everyone still feels things just because someone's got money or a nice house or other things doesn't mean that their problems don't matter. Mm. I think that's where people go wrong. But yeah, I think the boxing, get this back surgery done. I'm doing surgery. Hopefully in the next three to four weeks, I'm aiming. If I can get my surgery done, a good three, four months, just to let everyone know, they have invited me to go stay with them for a month or so after my surgery just to look after me. That's how beautiful these people are. And I'm not going to give them any money and not going to do anything. <laughs> you I'm won't just going to go stay there. You won't be able to. Exactly. They're so beautiful. We'll be spooning. They're so beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, get the surgery, boxing. I'm definitely going to be doing a few boxing matches. I'd like to do like maybe 10 over the next four or five years. Yep. Um, and just really go hard with this podcast. Now we've finally got a bit of a move on with it all. It's going to be a bit inconsistent with sets because I will be traveling around a little bit doing portable kind of setups with some other guests and people that are around the world because it's, I could do Zoom calls and stuff, but I kind of want to be there in person and sit with them and talk and and do those sorts of things. Mm-hmm. So the podcast, the boxing, the surgery. Any more parties? It's a good question. Thank you. You're asking me the questions. I like this. Oh, this is yeah. lovely. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not too sure. I can't speak truthfully mm. about the parties around because in my headspace it's not where I'm at I needed a break from partying from mm. alcohol and just abusing my body it just wasn't sustainable yep obviously I've sold my house I've sold the playground the big party house um, so I've sold that I'm out of there in about four weeks depending on whatever date people are watching this I might already be out of the house by the time people are watching this not too sure what I'll do I'll probably go overseas for a little while till the back surgery come back and then after that I'll stay with you guys for a few weeks then I'll either buy somewhere new or I'll rent something or I'll move back into my old place because I still have that house and then just focus on boxing and podcasts. I like it. I probably didn't need to take 10 minutes to answer the question, but I did. I like it. I wanted <laughs> to just know. how I am. I wanted to know. I have ADHD. I reckon, pe- so I reckon I people are interested. What about you? Not much. Just uh, just boxing. Boxing. Training. Being a caretaker. <laughs> Working. Being a caretaker. <laughs> He's a bloody good caretaker. <laughs> <laughs> so funny, last year, like the Halloween parties and stuff, like him and Harry were with me every day. Like everywhere we'd go, we'd have to like set up my little walker in the back of the car <laughs> and then everywhere we'd get, have to get it out and help me just to walk. I remember. Pain in the ass. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> just legit, back legit you soon. would have had to pack it up every I time. Know, sometimes I'd just shove it in the back seat and push it until it go in. <laughs> like, you know if shit hits the fan, you can work in a nursing home now. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. He can always fall. That's his plan B. Yeah, that's my plan B. If I, if if what I'm doing now doesn't work out, I'm going to yeah go to a nursing home. <laughs> wipe some butt. <laughs> wipe some butt. Just wipe some butt. All right, I want to see the fucking pretzel. Yeah. <laughs> go and piss. Yeah, yeah, I need to pee. I'm not doing that with that meme. <laughs> All right, you go and pee and we'll have a boys conversation. I'm going to take the, mic, the headphones with me so I can hear you. It won't work. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you must leave. Alrighty, and I think that that pretty much brings us to an end, but I would like to see the pretzel before you guys go and this end. So I would also like to say a massive thank you to two of my favorite people and Lockie. Uh, Jeremy and Isabel for joining us today. Absolutely beautiful people. Their socials will be in the description if you'd like to go and follow them or find them on social media. Go hit them up. Absolutely lovely people. So honest and upfront and just sweet. Thank you so much again for coming on. Oh, thanks for having You're us. You're welcome. This is, this is still very early days of my podcast, so bear with me. I'm not sorry for anything, but this is only going to get better. <laughs> we'll get better at speaking, better at questions, and I'm we very excited to be doing this podcast. Me too. It's just a lot of fun. Something new to work on. I enjoy talking, as people can tell. I have <laughs> crippling ADHD, so I don't shut up. But yeah, I think that was absolutely lovely. And now show me the pretzel so I have something okay, to think how about How is this going to work? Well, Jackson's going to hold her back. You lay here. Yeah. You lay there on your back. And we're going to be around you like it's, a, like it's a feast. I had to put Jeremy's shorts on because the jeans were too restrictive. This is fine. I'm going to hold two black things. <laughs> Jamie's got so much pressure. I think her head should be here. This is a lot of pressure. Oh, her head. Oh, her yeah, head yeah, here, yeah, like yeah. back that way. Legs go on that way. Do you want not want these on? You can oh. hear the noises that might happen. We'll hold this. We'll hold this. Uh, she might we'll queef. This. She could queef I mean, when yeah, yeah, maybe you maybe want to hear your queef. Is this? Oh, I don't even know what mic to speak into. Is this YouTube appropriate? This is YouTube appropriate. She has clothes on. Demonetization. This is safe. This is cool for Instagram. She has clothes on. I need to hold my back. Yeah, I've got you. He's holding your back. Yeah, she'll roll back if you let her go. What? Yeah, that's too much. Why are you letting her go? Because she's holding her back. Oh, 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 the and there you go, there you go, guys. Whoa. The human pretzel, Isabel. And if you'd like to see her doing this in other things, you probably can. Um, thank impressive. you guys for coming on. It's been amazing. And I hope everyone watching has an awful day. Thank you. No, I'm joking. I love you all. Now fuck off.